So that's all I'm going to say about OpenAL and how we use it. I'm going to move on now and do a little bit of a demonstration of some of the uh, audio from Colin McRae Rally. Before we go to this, I've got a, there was a few more slidey type bits, please, Pete. Thank you. And that is, yeah, just a quick summary. We've got more than an hour of memory resonance samples in the game, and that's basically because uh, we tried generative synthesis and we'd listened to recordings of real cars, and yes, it did sound as good as the old games used to, but it didn't sound as good as the real cars. And so what the approach that we take, rather than breaking things up into lots of little loops or uh, splicing together tiny sections of sound is we use great big recordings of the car going through the rev range and lots of them and we sequence those in such a way that you're not trying to listen to a whole load of trombones being faded up and down instead you're actually hearing the real sound of the car and we're picking from several minutes of audio for each car engine and multiple car engines as well for multi-car implementations of the game uh, You've also, we're using 12 main voices per engine. That's not counting turbos and gearboxes and stuff like that. There will always be four playing. Quite often it will be eight, like whenever you're changing gear. 12 when something really exciting happens. And you're beginning to see, hopefully, why we're going to need virtual voice management. On the, each wheel of the car, well, seven voices, usually good enough. Obviously not all playing, but you've got peel, skid, scrub, slide and roll. Any given point, you could be transiting from one surface to another as well. So we've immediately used 28 voices just on the first car, just on the wheels. All of the sounds for displacement, suspension, gearbox and so on, those are on top of what I've just mentioned. You've got kick-up sounds, things being banged against the underneath of the car, and then ambient surround fields as well. And then collisions, and all of the assets in the game get swapped in and out and morphed using the DSP um, according to categories of damage. Let's show everyone how it's done. 80, right 4, and right 4. Into left 2. And left 4 into right 4. 80, right 4 into left 4 opens. And jump, 60, dip, jump, arrows. Left six, right six, 100. Left five, long, and right six. And right six over two jumps and tightens five. 60, left six, and crest into right six. 